Hey guys, it's Alexa, and you're watching Taltanic. Have you ever wanted to make your life easier? Have you ever wondered what things you already have that could be used in different ways to take some of the stress out of your life? Well, here we've got some of those answers for you, and we'll show you some ways that you can use things you already have to step up your quality of life. We hope you learned something from our list of amazing hacks for a better life. Number 15. Strawberry Stems Have you ever wondered if there's an easier way to get the pesky stems separated from your strawberries besides, you know, eating around them or cutting them off with a knife? There is a way, and it's quite simple, and all you're going to need for this one is a straw. Just take your straw and shove it through your berry from the bottom or top, and the straw should encapsulate all of the deep-rooted parts of the stem, and it should become trapped inside. Just make sure you push it all the way through, and voila, stemless strawberries for a superb snack session. Number 14. Chip Clips Are you cheap? Do you want to make the most of your money? Well, now you can. All you need to do is save the hangers that your pants or shorts come on, and you've got a chip clip and a hanger. Just break off the clamps that were holding onto the clothing item and repurpose them into a free chip clip. This works for most of the food items that you need to seal, or at least hold closed, and you didn't have to spend any extra cash to achieve this simple little hack. Two in one. Who would be upset about that? Number 13. Finger Protection Have you ever needed to hammer a nail into your wall, but you're one of those people whose aim isn't 100% or even close? Boy, do we have a solution for you. Just get your hands on a clothespin and save your fingers from being smashed and crushed by your hammer. Clip the clothespin onto the nail, hold it in place, and hammer away. This isn't going to help you much in the aiming department, but it could keep you from bloodying your poor fingers, and in extreme cases, it might even save you a visit to the hospital. So easy, so smart, so needed this about five years ago. Number 12. Bagel Box How does one pack a bagel for lunch? They're round, so they don't seem to fit quite right in any of your Tupperware containers, and you can't really just shove them into the bottom of a bag, so what do you do? If you have any old CD spindles around, you're in luck. They're the perfect size for bagel storage, and will make the task of packing up your lunch easy and stress-free. The problem is, it's, you know, not the early 2000s anymore, so you probably don't have a trusty CD spindle lying around anywhere. That is, unless you're still into making mixed CDs or your dad is still into burning DVDs. Piracy is a crime, you know. Number 11. So cute. If you're at all crafty, then this should be easy peasy lemon squeezy for you. When you buy an itsy bitsy little plant, sometimes you're hard pressed to find a planter small enough to hold it, right? All you'll need here is a toilet paper roll and maybe a little bit of tape, and you're good to go. Just cut up your roll into little 1x1, one 2x2, one, two two, or however big of sections you think you'll need, and then tape them together to form a small box without a top. Fill it up with your favorite potting soil, plant your micro plant, add a little water, and watch your little guy quickly grow into a big guy. You'll probably need to buy a real pot when it gets big enough, because you know what they say, plants can't live inside of toilet paper rolls forever. Somebody has probably said that, right? Number 10. Got kids? If you've ever given a popsicle to a small child, you'll know the feeling of regretting that decision almost immediately after doing so. Popsicles are sticky and they literally get everywhere when someone under 8 is wielding one, so this hack, this, is for those times. All you'll need is a cupcake wrapper and you'll probably be much happier with the small amount of mess you're going to be cleaning up. Just poke the popsicle stick through the cupcake wrapper, hand it to your kid, then sit back and relax. The drippings from the icy treat will be caught by the wrapper, and the child's hands will receive minimal mess. This isn't guaranteed, though, considering kids seem to jerk and twitch a lot, so the wrapper could potentially become a sticky syrup holster that's locked, loaded, and ready to be flung all over the place. It is worth a shot, though. Number 9. Speaking of kids, what do you do when your little ones grow out of their cribs? Throw it out? Save it for the next 30 years in hopes that they'll one day have children of their own? Maybe. Or you could transform the thing and come up with an all-new piece of furniture for their room that they can enjoy for many more years to come. Just take a look at this impressive crib-to-desk transformation. How great is this thing? Not only did this person repurpose the old crib, but they made something new that will serve as a distraction and workspace and entertain their kids for some time to come. Number 8. Gone Shopping? We all know that feeling of getting to the grocery store and not remembering if you have something sitting in your fridge or pantry or not, but there's a straightforward solution that everyone should partake in whether you think you made a detailed list or not. Take a picture, 
We all have little cameras in our pockets every moment of our lives, so pull yours out, just snap a photo of the contents of your various food storage areas, and you'll never have to wonder if you ate the last of your hot dogs or not. The evidence of what you have and have not consumed will be right there at your fingertips, and trust us, you'll be super happy you decided to give this hack a shot. Number 7. Pant Hangers to the Rescue Remember the awesome chip clip that you made out of a pants hanger a few minutes ago? Well, guess what? Those hangers don't just make for good clip chips, but they make for excellent, inexpensive cookbook holders as well. Just save those used-to-be pesky hangers and you can clip it right into your cookbook when you're in a bind. Hang the hanger from the knobs or handles on your cupboards and your cookbook will just dangle right there in front of your face. What could be easier? Having a real cookbook holder? Not if you're cheap or money deficient. We're just hacking right along here. Number 6. Barbecue Bliss You know how hard it is to find a million different plates and ramekins to serve all of those condiments and add-ons at a barbecue or party? This hack actually takes care of that in no time and cuts down on all the dishwashing that you'll need to be doing at the end of the night. It's so simple that we don't know how we didn't think of this one beforehand. Just get yourself a muffin tin. Fill up the different muffin holes with whatever you want, be it ketchup, mustard, mayo, or whatever else you please, and set it out. It creates a one-stop shop for all of your guests' condiment needs and makes cleanup a piece of cake. Number 5. Straining the crumbs This one works if you're one of those people that doesn't enjoy all of the crumbs that are left in the bottom of a bag of cereal after you eat 99% of it. Or this works if you just don't want the cereal and just want the crumbs. Why would somebody just want the crumbs, though? Well, we're part of the camp that enjoys them because you know what they do? They flavor the heck out of your milk. We know some of you don't drink the milk after you're done eating the cereal in your bowl, but we all have to say you're missing out. Either way, this one works and will give you whatever result you desire. Cereal. Hacked. Number 4. Cleaning Storage We all know that accruing cleaning products is nice because over time you'll need each and every one of them. But what happens when you get so many that you don't even know how or where to store them anymore? They take up all of the room underneath the sink and putting them there leaves them right in the path of your exploring children. That is, if you have any. This storage option could be the solution to all of your problems. And it's all in one. Just get yourself a hanging shoe rack. Place it on the inside of a closet door and separate and organize all of your cleaning items, no problem. Plus, now that they're hanging and behind a large door, it's much easier to keep out of the reach of children. Win-win. Number 3. Calling all winos. Okay, so this one isn't just for the winos out there, but it's for anyone that likes to enjoy a nice glass of wine without it getting all warm and impossible to drink. If you're deep into your wine drinking fun and don't really have time to let your bottle cool down in a fridge before your next glass, don't even think about putting ice cubes in to give it a little chill. All you have to do, if you have the foresight for it, is freeze some grapes and then plop them down into your glass. This helps to keep the wine crisp and cold and doesn't water down your precious vino. Just stick some grapes in the freezer right now and surprise yourself with your incredible inventiveness the next time you sit down for a few glasses of your favorite drink. Number two. You know how many times we've struggled? Wow. We all know the feeling of needing to fill something up with water only to have it be too large to actually fit in the sink. What do you do then? Find something smaller to fill and transfer the water one slow fill at a time? No. What you do is you go and grab your dustpan and set the crumb collection end in the sink with the handle facing toward you. Place your bucket underneath the sink, make sure your aim is correct, and turn on the water. This will help to funnel your water right off the end of the dustpan into whatever it is you need to fill. Whoever came up with this is a genius. Five stars, where is their Yelp page? Number one. Ice cold drink. This one is quite smart and it's for all of you that enjoy, you know, cold drinks. You know how you've tried partially freezing your water to get a perfect ice cold beverage for the road? This idea is way better and we're surprised at how easy it is. All you have to do is fill your bottle around a quarter of the way full and lay it on your freezer sideways until the water changes state. Then you can fill it the rest of the way with water and you'll have a freezing, biting cold drink until the ice cube decides that it's high time to melt. Don't forget to keep your straw, if you have one, out of the water when you lay it down in the freezer. Otherwise, you won't be having any water and you'll be the one that collapses from dehydration on your 10 mile hike. Even we learned some things we didn't already know. Did any of these stand out to you? 
Are you going to implement anything from this list in your own life? Tell us what caught your attention in the comments. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for excellent new videos every day. Thank <laughs> you.